I've been a fan of LEGO since I was a kid, but uh, when I turned 18, that was the year 1999, LEGO started to release Star Wars LEGO sets, and that's when I became an adult fan of LEGO because the legal age in Sweden is 18. And also, I was a major Star Wars fan, and they were going to release this awesome movie at the cinema called The Phantom Menace. Yeah, baby, the Star Wars was coming back. The trailer looked amazing. They had this fog going on. This weird as space queen and through the fog these frog people were coming out they look so badass anyways the phantom menace is still one of my favorite star wars movie even though it's a bit weird the pacing is a bit off and well jar jar binks of course but otherwise it has a lot of lore and a groundwork to expand the universe from one of my favorite spaceships in star wars is the naboo starfighter and that set came out back in 1999 as well a bit clunky as most of the lego star wars set back then but i thought it looked pretty cool and now that the mandalorian has a naboo starfighter as well I wanted to pay tribute to that old classic bulky Lego design and make a Mandalorian version of that very same Lego set. From this angle the old classic design looks pretty nice but you will see later that it's a bit short when it comes to the nose part. And the canopy doesn't have a hinge so you have to open it just by taking it with your fingers and put it back there which is a bit unmodern so i modernized that a bit and also back here is where the astromech droid is supposed to go r2d2 and that's where we're going to have that cupola in glass so here, no that's that's another mock that's go, go away all right so here is the new version of that old classic design mandalorian styled what I basically did was that I swapped out all of the yellow parts into gray parts and I also put in these very classic looking printed bricks with uh, all those technology knickknacks. In front we have the modified cannons and that motor thingy that makes this the super speedy version of the Naboo Starfighter. And as I mentioned this is a bit of a more of a modern canopy with a hinge that can open like so. We have Mando himself in there. Well this also opens up. It's missing a passenger. Hmm. Okay so this is just speculation at the time but we are guessing that it's a space for baby Grogo to sit down here. How adorable isn't that? That looks so cute. The nose part is a bit short and as you can see it looks kind of bulky but I mean that's just the way it was back in the day when Lego didn't have all the specialized parts they have now with all the cool slopes and th this also has that cool retro play feature with the antenna falling off super easily. Now I do think this looks super badass but I do hope that Lego will release their own official version and hopefully before the TV show blows this ship up as well as they did with the Razor Crest that was barely released before they destroyed the ship. <laughs> Why did I laugh there? I started to cry when they blew up the Razor Crest. I love the Razor Crest. And if you like this modification, make sure to watch my modification of the Razor Crest.